Hi, welcome to excellab.org. Our topic is effective interest rate using Excel's data table function. So we begin. So let's say the nominal interest rate it takes seven percent, or you can say you can say nominal interest rate is same as annual percentage rate so I can write APR which is annual percentage rate now next let's say the compounding frequency let's say it is 1 that means it is annual So, so we define here the compounding frequency. So first, let's say begin with annual, semi-annual, take quarterly, monthly, take bi-weekly or fortnightly, weekly, and daily. So we can define the frequency here. It's for annual, it's one, semi annual, it's two, quarterly, it's four, monthly, 12, or bi weekly, it's 26, 52, 365. And here in the column, we can, we can say it's the APR, which is 7%. Now, now we want to see the effective interest rate when the compounding frequency increases so uh, we want the data to be at one so what we will do we will use data function data table function so so first first we will define at the top right corner the formula which is effect you can see the function here okay now so first the nominal rate or the EPR which is 7% and and let's say the frequency number of compounding frequency it is annual say 1 close the bracket and you can say it is 7% now 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 we select we select the table this is the table and and we want data uh, in the vacant sale so so we go to data then go to what if analysis and and the data table okay so so first it is asking for re row input cells and we know the row rows are you know the the frequency which is 1 2 4 12 so we know uh, the puff compounding frequency so so click on this and it should be outside the table then then column input cell we know the column this is the column and which is the APR so so you, you give a reference of this and okay so now we can see we can see you know for annual it is seven percent for semi annual it is seven point one two two and rest you can see here you know as the frequency increases you know the rate also increases so when it is daily then it is seven point two five zero percent now we will see how it will affect in dollar terms so 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 let's say so let's say if you if you deposit 5000 dollars for 3 years when the interest rate compounding frequency increases okay so
so what we will do in the column we will mention the effective interest rate and in the row we mention the five thousand dollars so 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 let's let's convert this row values into columns so you first select you first select the cells in which you want to put the values so we want this this uh, you know effective interest rate we want in in the column form so so what you what you do you first select the cells and then you put equal to and write transpose so we can see transpose function and click on it and it is asking for array so these are the values which which we you know which we want to convert so close the bracket and and then control shift enter so so you can see it get you know transform into into column form and we just put the percentage sign so these are the values and these are the values and there you can put five thousand dollar okay now we we have to see the impact of the compounding frequency so so you put the formula here you write fv future value future value of five thousand dollars now the rate is this is the rate n per is number of years and it is it is for three years so you write three ignore pmt and pv is your present value which you are depositing so which is five thousand dollars so put minus since it is cash outflow that's why we are taking minus so so minus you you take five thousand so so i'm just clicking here I'm I'm just I just click here and and close the parenthesis. So here you can you can mention five thousand. So we get so the answer is it's six thousand one hundred twenty five dollars. So so this is when the interest rate is seven percent. You know it, when it is seven percent. We can see here now. Uh, let me put let me put the heading here. It's the deposit. the deposit okay and then, then then we fill using data table so select the select the table go to data what if data table and there you can see row we know row is the five thousand dollar so you just click click on this b10 and the column is it's all you know the the effective interest rate so so click on this so so remember you just give the reference which is outside this table so five thousand and seven percent it is outside this table so so put the values which are outside this table otherwise you will not get the answer okay and there there we can see there we can see you know it's showing in percentage correct it take into number format or let's say in currency okay so there is the answer so we can see it is 6125 when it is semi annual that is 7.122 it is 6146 so so we can see you know when the frequency increases the the difference is almost you know 21 dollars so we can check here if we minus this with the annual rate then then it is 21.06 similarly for when it is you know quarterly you deduct from the annual so you can see it's almost 31.98 so so we can see you know uh, how the compounding frequency impacts the interest rate and when when the interest rate increases then you know the the maturity amount also increases you can see here